everybody, it's Deborah with Nefarian Party, and today I will be showing you how I package my diaper cakes. Alright, so I, um, many of my diaper cakes have paper bows on them. These are paper bows that I made with my, um, silhouette cutter, and I don't want them to bend or, you know, get crushed, so I use tissue paper, uh, ball it up, and then I stick it inside of each of the bow, so if it gets, um, pushed in a little bit, it won't bend because the tissue paper is filling it up. So I put the tissue paper in each one of the bows. So this diaper cake was actually made to be a centerpiece at a baby shower, but it can also be given as a gift. If the customer, when the customer gets it and they're ready to display it or give it as a gift, they could just take the tissue paper out and display it as is. But this is just so it doesn't bend during shipping. I also have basket bags. I get these from the Dollar Tree. They come two in a pack for just a dollar. I usually do this because of how it sits. Sometimes I use, when I'm actually making a, a specific gift, you know, with the baby items and all that good stuff, I, I would use tool. But today I am using just a clear basket bag. So these are pretty big and they fit my three tiers very nicely. I got these little circles, they're cake boards, you can get them from craft stores or um, like Michael's or Target, I don't know about Target, but I got mine from Paper Mart because I can get them in bulk. So these are, I think, 10 inch circles. So sometimes the uh, shred will fall out. Um, to try to prevent that from happening, you just play with it and you know stick the um, the paper and you know within each other, kind of tangle it up. But some, sometimes static does get to it and it'll get attached to the bag. But I got lucky and that didn't happen this time. Now to dress it up, just have some streamers. These match the diaper cake, that's why I'm using these, but sometimes I would use the uh, dollar store streamers. But I don't have any that'll match the cake, so, and I want it all to go together. So this topper is made of paper. Depending on the size, sometimes I would stick it inside the diapers um, in the plastic, but this one is kind of large. So I have a, this isn't really card stuff. Is it chipboard, chip paper? I'm not sure, but this is the backing that comes inside of the plastic with, um, you know, premium card stock that you get from the craft stores. So, and it's sturdy enough. I don't need, you know, cardboard, but all right, I fold this in half. I don't need it so long. All right, I place it inside of the fold and just tape it short. Tape it still. So the last thing I do for this topper is I have to write in bold, do not trash. And I do this because there have been times when the customer just thought it was trash and they threw away their topper. And then I got a review saying that the topper wasn't in the box and I'm just trying to avoid that. I ugh, need my boxes to be 10 by, no, I'm sorry. When I purchase the shipping label, the box size has to be 10, 11 by 11 by 14. Because if I did 11 by 11 by 15, that one little inch would either make the shipping ship three dollars, like if it was going to a couple states, or fifteen dollars. Say I was shipping to California or something like that, somewhere far, it will shoot up. That one inch will make the um, price shoot up quite a bit. So I have to chop it down to thirteen inches tall. So I get my boxes from Uline. 
these are 10 by 10 by 10. So I purchased these as opposed to purchasing the 10 by 10 by 14 because it's still too large. Um, that one inch is too large. It'll be larger than what I needed. So what I do is I purchase these and I cut it down to, and then I put it together and I've got me a 10 by 10 by 14. I'm sorry, it's a 10 by 10 by 13 box, but I add an inch just for, you know, because it's gonna be a little bit bigger than 10 by 10 by 13. So it, it becomes exactly when I put in the shipping, it becomes 11 by 11 by 14. And that gives me the price that I need. So here is my shipping box. I've taped it all together, just like that. And here's what the inside looks like. And that's where I will place my diaper kit. And so I have to do this carefully so the bow ties don't get caught on the inside box. So these are air bubble packing bags. I use these to stick inside of the box. Sometimes I use packing paper, but whatever I have on hand works just fine. So these are mainly used to keep the diaper cake from moving from side to side because the top is gonna to be pretty snug, so I just don't want it to move back and forth. The main thing, I don't want the, the bow ties to get crushed. So if it moves a little bit, it's fine. It's just the bow ties that I don't want to get crushed. Here is, I put a packing sheet inside of each one and a thank you card with the code on it. So the last thing I have to do is just tape up my box. Well, it's not the last thing. I still have to put the label on it. This is the scale that I use to weigh my packages. I like it because there's nothing around it and I can weigh larger packages as I usually do. I know how much it's going to weigh. I know the size, but, but I always have to double check to make sure. Four pounds. I like that. So I printed out my shipping label and I'm not gonna show you obviously, but I take the shipping label is on um, shipping label paper with a sticky back. But I don't trust it, so I just put tape around the entire label. It's going to UPS, so I could put it around the whole thing. If I was going to post office, then I wouldn't be able to. But I put it all around it, and now my package is complete. As you can see, I purchased my packaging supplies from all over the place. When you are purchasing your packaging supplies, make sure you write down everything that you need as far as sizing, how many. You want to keep in mind where it's coming from, how long it's going to take, and your budget. That's very important what you don't you don't need to buy more than what you need bulk is good but make sure you have the volume coming in so you don't have a bunch of boxes sitting around but yeah budget is good budget is very important to keep in mind when purchasing your supplies if you have any questions or if i left anything out just let me know in the comment section and i will do my best to answer them